Hey, I'm Chris Menard. Sorting in Excel is one of the most popular features, and it's one of my favorite features. If you've never done sort before, let's take a look at how you can sort by one column and then do a multiple column sort. Make sure your data does not have any blank rows or blank columns. That will mess this trick up. Let's dive into it right now. In case you're wondering what exactly is a sort, let's say I have a list of employees. I know their department. I know what state they work in, what country they work in possibly, but I've got their first and last name. I may want to put them in order by last name. That would be a sort. I may want to put them in order by states. That would be a sort. You can sort by one column. You can sort by multiple columns. You can sort by color. You can sort by background color. So let's take a look first at where the different locations are for sorting this incredibly popular feature. I've got my Excel file pulled up. I'm on the first worksheet. On the Home tab, we have Sort and Filter in the Editing group. I'm just going to click on it, but not select any, just to show you where it's located. You can also find Sort and Filter on the Data tab. This is one of my favorite places to go. Not only do we have Sort and Filter, we've actually got its own group. That is a group called Sort and Filter, and it has additional commands in it. We can also sort by just doing a simple right click by whatever column we want us to sort by. Let's start off by doing this one. So I want to sort this by last name. I notice the last names happen to be in column B. Right click anyone's last name. I'm going to point this out before we start. Belkus, the customer number for Belkus is 1324 and they're located in California. So right click on anyone's last name. I happen to be in cell B3. There is filter and there is sort. When you go to sort, well, let's do a sort A to Z. That is going to put all the names in the correct order. Notice that Belka still has customer 1324, which is correct. Because if it only sorted column B, then our data would be out of whack and we'd be in trouble. So it is sorting all your data when you sort that one column. Let's go into another sort. We sorted by text. That was last name. Let's go do a sort by city. I can right click any city. Sort and do a sort A to Z. Athens, Atlanta, Brooklyn working correctly. You can not only sort text, you can sort numbers. I'm going to go and click on purchases to date with a right click. I happen to be in cell H3. Sort, smallest to largest, and largest to smallest. I'm going to select largest to smallest. So now the largest purchases to date happens to be at the top of my list, moving down. We've sorted by text. We've sorted by numbers. Well, we can sort by date too. We have an invoice date in column G. Right click, go to sort, and let's do a sort oldest to newest. So the very first invoice date you should see is 2-11-2022 followed by 2-13. There is your sort and we're doing a sort by one column but all the data is being sorted when we do this. You can also sort by multiple columns. I'm going to move to the next worksheet. I'm going to use the data tab this time. We did a lot of right clicking in the previous exercise. If you click on someone's last name, I'm on cell B3. The A to Z sort is exactly the same as the right click sort that we did, and so is the Z to A. But if you want to do a multiple sort, select the word sort. If we take a look at our header row, we've got a lot of fields that repeat. That would be column D that has city. Column E that has state, column F has our source, and column J has household type. I want to do a multiple sort. It's telling me that my data has headers. My header row is row one, so that is correct. What do you want to sort by? I'm going to pick state first, and it's going to do A to Z. Add a level. 
I'm going to do city second. Still A to Z. Add a level. I'm going to do source as my third option, leaving it as A to Z. And the fourth option is going to be household type. Smallest to largest, sorry, household type, A to Z. It runs from the top down, so states the first priority, followed by city, source, and household type. They're all A to Z. Click OK. If you did it correctly, you should have the state of California before Georgia in column E. Take a look at your Californias. San Diego showed up before San Francisco in cell D2, D3, and D4. Look at your San Diego's. Our third priority was source. I've got Google as before Meta, so it is still working correctly. Take a look at San Diego for the two Google ads. Over in column J, someone that is couple appears before someone that is family. So it is working correctly. In case you're wondering, you can sort by 64 items. We just did four. Now, if your sort order is not in the correct order, I'm still on the data tab. I'm going to go back to sort. It remembers my list. I decided I wanted household type to be the priority. I don't need to sit here and delete and add rows to get it to show up correctly. I can select household type and I have a blue arrow pointing up. Yours may be in a different color. Click it once. It moves up once. Now we have an arrow pointing down, by the way. Click it a second time and click it a third time. Household type is now the number one priority, followed by state, city, and source. Click OK. And sure enough, over in column J, we have couple before family before single. But if you take a look at the couple, again, California before Georgia, San Diego before San Francisco, it is working correctly. I hope you enjoyed that video. Feel free to subscribe and ring the bell. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.